Hi guys, thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday evening. Now I met Lori Houston at the last Fluid Art Experience in Dallas this past summer. And as it tends to inevitably happen in this industry, when you meet someone you just click with, it, it's just a friendship that you can't deny. And she and I became fast friends. We have been trying to get a collaboration done since then, but as it often happens, life got in the way for both of us, but we finally made it happen and here we are. So Lori, thank you so much, sweetheart, for taking the time to do this collab with me. It only took four months, but hey, good things come to those who wait, right? So the rules of this collab were pretty straightforward. Um, originally, we decided on a Dutch pour, but you guys know how Dutch pours and I do not get along. So I convinced her that a Dutch bloom should fit the criteria. And she laughed at me, but she agreed. I love that girl. Um, the only other requirement was that the piece had to be embellished in some form or fashion. Easy enough, right? So we will see how it turns out.
so I'm thinking I may be done spinning it at this point. So what I'm gonna do is wipe off the bottom, uh, the excess paint, and then I'm actually going to spin it again. And I wiped off the paint so that on this next spin, I can see how much is still coming down. Um, if it's quite a bit, then I'll know I need to spin it some more. But the movement is very, very slow on it when I tilt it, and uh, I think I'm close. So that's why I wiped the paint off and then spun it again, uh, just, just to make sure. Now, obviously, this is how I would have wanted this piece to dry, but things didn't quite work out that way. When it was drying, I noticed, and if you will look right there in the middle, do you see that little dimple, that little indention? Imagine those everywhere around the perimeter of the canvas. Now, I knew cracking might be a risk because of using a previously poured on canvas, but I had never seen this type of reaction before. So after my initial panic attack and some major curse words, I started looking at it objectively for what it was, not what I had wanted it to be. Now, a little history on me, I was raised in New Mexico as a kid, and believe it or not, I started seeing a stucco effect on this piece. Now, I will apologize profusely. I did not have the presence of mind to film how I fix this, but I will tell you. I used DecoArt Americana 24 karat gold, bronze, and the Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. I took my palette knife and started spreading the paint in a completely haphazard way in small areas at a time that were affected by this dimpling. I would let the paint sit for about 30 seconds and then I took a lot of damp paper towels, it took a lot, um, and wiped off the excess paint. If you've ever applied drywall mud or spackling to a wall to fill a hole, that's the concept that I'm talking about here. I literally could not be happier with this piece despite it turning out differently than I had envisioned when I started. It is now hanging in the gallery. My curator absolutely loved it. So we will see what happens. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. A huge thank you to my sweet friend Lori for doing this with me. She is coming up next, so be sure to head on over to her channel. The link is in my description, and we will watch her create an absolutely gorgeous Dutch pour. Have a wonderful evening, everyone.